Hello, this is Lego Man Eight Five One Hundred here. Come with you a review of the Dirt Bike Transporter. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's a Lego City set. Set number four. It's ages five to twelve, and the set number is four four three three. It comes with too many figures, and the transport. As you can see, it's on hay. Shows you you can change the wheels. It comes with tools. Mm, that's all the other stuff. And there are your two dark bikes and your two men. This set cost me fifteen pound. I'm not sure how much that is in dollars. I think it might be seventeen. Or something like that. Anyway, here's your first guy. As you can see, he's got a red cap. The same uniform as what you get with the garage. And his face. That's his face. And you see, he's got the orange, light orange sunglasses. And then you have your other man. He's the exact same apart from his face. You know, it's kind of, it's, a, it's just a different face. Anyway, on to the dirt bike transporter. I'll start with the car first. The trailer's got most of the playable features in. The car's pretty cool. I think the car's the car has two new pieces on, which are the window screen. It doesn't look different, but it actually is because this one is three long instead of two. And another thing I noticed is new is these wheel arches. As you can see, they aren't as long as the other ones, so it makes the suspension kind of look. And the big bulky tires really look cool. On the roof. You have have two bars, a spare wheel for the motorbike, and and this bit opens up to the inside, and it's got it has a seat and a steering wheel in there, and it does fit a man. That's it. That's it. Fits a man, and the roof closes. It's a perfect fit. And now we go around to the back. You can see the mechanism that's used to hold the trailer on. With this, the back opens up. Really good. There's loads of room back there. Enough room to, if you get want your minifigure and bend his legs slightly, you can put him in there. The only downside is when you close the back, you still see his feet. See that blue stuff? That's his feet. That's the only downside to it. And now on to the trailer. Oops. With the trailer you get the mechanism to hold on to that hook back there so it can be towed. You get four wheels. You do get tools. But first I want to show you these helmets. I think they're really cool. As you can see, they do open up and close the front, and they fit onto a man like that. And that's how, and that's how to stay safe on the motorbike. So you do get two of them helmets. One for each man, and on the trailer, they're held on by these blue cylinder studs. See here, and what happens is if you if you grab the red hat, you can also press that onto there by the little stud in the top. Oops. But uh, it's not the strongest thing in the world. Okay, I'm put that aside. You all, on the front, you get these two. You get two yellow extinguisher-looking things, and you also in these drawers are where all the tools are kept.
you get so this is our first time with jewels so I'm not very good with them as it's my first time I don't really use them a lot I've got loads of cupboards though anyway you get a drill put that back in the drill you also get a spanner. Well, yeah, you get a hammer. You all you do also get a wrench and a screwdriver. Those are all the tools. Oh, and you also get an oiling can. But mine was set. I can't. I lost it when I opened up the box. When I opened up one of the bags, that. They all fell out and and I lost my oil and can. Anyway, onto the motorbikes. You get you get a green motorbike that has the number six on it. You also get orange motorbike number eight on it. You do get a peg on each side which holds it onto the trailer because of these yellow studs right here that's what they if you get that and push it down the motorbike doesn't come off with the trailer and that's how you can stick both of them on the men do fit on the motorcycles the other feature you get is if your motorbikes want to race you get a, a flag made by like a cone a pole and a flag on top and they're kind of like race flags I suppose that they're, they're pretty cool. If you're into playing with it, it's got a lot of playable features. On that's just a back you get indicator and a brake light on each one of these that fold down, so that way the motorbikes can roll off. I push it back so it hits the wheel of the motorbike. You can put the motorbike either way because it doesn't really matter what way you put them as you as you can see that's the trailer mechanism there and that makes it stick just there and it is a pretty strong you have to pull it if you want it to come off no, that was the dirt bike transporter. If there are any video improvements I could do, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Thank you for watching.